that comes up in fogs from sewer holes in winter. I'm for the art that splits when you step on a frozen puddle. I'm for the worm's art inside the apple. I am for the art of sweat that develops between crossed legs. I'm in the imaginary picnic. Tomorrow art, Frank's art, Duff's art, Mito Rama. Knowledge is power. I'm for the art of red, red by rain. I'm for the rat. I do love a new book. I'm for the art of rust and mold. I'm for the art of heart. Okay. Territory of your self evident limitlessness. The word gentleman is a public concern of the first importance. We are voices of trans humanity. Our voices are a synthesis only to replenish the deep wails of the absurd. Art influences social and cultural change. tries to convince himself and women that the female function is to bear and raise children, soothe, relax, and boost the male ego. Often said that men use women. Use them for what? Surely not pleasure. Eaten up with guilt, shame, fears, and insecurities, and obtaining, if he's lucky, a barely perceptible physical feeling, the male is, nonetheless, obsessed with screwing. He'll swim through a river of snot, wade nostril deep through a mile of vomit, he thinks there'll be a friendly pussy waiting him. To men, sexual relation is a redundancy, overlaid with stilted manners, the suit of a chimp, money, marriage, and prostitution. When in actual fact, the female function is to groove, relate, love, be herself, discover, explore, invent, solve problems, crack jokes, make music, all with love. In other words, create a magic world. <laughs> The male craves a continuous companionship of women. But females, unless very young or very sick, must be coerced or bribed into male company. Supply the non-relating male with a delusion of usefulness and enable him to justify to his existence by digging holes and then filling them up. Playing cards and other Germany, make 
indigestion and fight paroxysm, dot of literature, dot of bourgeoisie, dot of yourself, honored poets, who are always writing with words, but never writing the word itself. Surrealism will allow you to. All you have to do is set the needle on stare at action, and the rest will follow naturally. Here are some characters rather different in appearance. Their names in your handwriting are a question of capital letters, and they will conduct themselves with the same ease with respect to active verbs as does the impersonal pronoun it, with respect to such words as is rain, is, must, etc. They will command them, so to speak, and wherever observation, reflection, and the faculty.